Well, uh, the situation there is uh, difficult, to, to say the least, and of course, everyone is uh, profoundly moved by the sacrifice of the Marines and the Navy corpsmen who gave their lives. Uh, the strategy right now is to continue the evacuation to the very last moment, the 31st, uh, and at that point to remove our combat forces that are there at the airport. Uh, there still will be diplomatic efforts to uh, get out American citizens or individuals who we will try to get out. Those efforts will go on. Uh, but at this point, I think all eyes are on the Kabul airport, uh, a successful extraction of more, and we have over 100,000 uh, individuals, uh, civilians taken out, and then we have to get our troops out, hopefully all safely and hopefully with no more casualties. What I will say, for, first of all, is um, I want to, and I know the Senator did this, express my deepest condolences to uh, the families of the service members who were lost yesterday. It is a tragic and heartbreaking situation, and um, we want to thank all of the service members there for their service. Um, and we will continue to work as hard as we can to meet the mission and continue the evacuations. And beyond that, I will defer to my colleagues in the cabinet and Secretary of State and uh, Defense who are on this every day. Senator Chair, we re received a statement from the RFC saying that this stop in Rhode Island was a slap in the face to the Americans stranded in Afghanistan. This was just an uh, attempt to shift focus away from the crisis at hand in Afghanistan. What's your response to that? Uh, my response to that is that the Senator and I had a great discussion here today about an incredibly important topic, which is the care economy, investments that are necessary in the care economy, uh, and we're going to stay focused on that. The American people deserve these investments. It's necessary for our communities and for people to get back to work and for the economy, and mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I thought we had a great discussion, and I'm proud to be here with my friend Senator Reid.